I'm Alexis Van Herkman, and welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn DaVinci Resolve grading and finishing techniques in under five minutes. Let's take a look at multiple timeline playheads. DaVinci Resolve used to have an interface for multiple timeline playheads, but at a certain point it was superseded by the split view option, in particular the selected clips option. So if I select multiple clips this way, it's a really fast and effective way for me to simultaneously view a number of different clips that I want to compare for whatever reason. However, there are still a lot of people that wanted the specificity of multiple playheads, and so happily that feature is now available. So by default, you are using the first playhead. I'm going to go ahead and turn split view off. So this orange outline by default is the current clip. It's also letting you know that this is the current playhead. What I can do is go up to the color menu, go to active playhead, and choose up to four other playheads to be using to navigate the timeline. So I can choose playhead B, and now as I navigate around, you can see there's a little B playhead down in my mini timeline. In fact, I can grab this and scrub it around independently, or I can jump back to playhead A. And now I have the ability to jump back and forth between playheads A and B. As I mentioned, you can have up to four playheads, so I can go back up to the color page and choose active playhead C, Every time you choose another playhead, you're basically dropping the previous playhead where it was and starting to use the new playhead. So if I go back up to color, active playhead D, now I'm on the D playhead. And at whatever point you're done using multiple playheads, you can simply go back up to the color page, go into active playhead and choose reset playheads. And it collapses all the playheads into the one you're currently using as your current playhead. Right this minute, the only thing you can use playheads for is for timeline navigation. However, I'm sure many of you can already imagine the possibilities of using something like that for split screens or for wipes or for shot matching or for who knows what else. That's all potentially in the future. Right now, all you can do with multiple playheads is navigate the timeline. But that right there is actually a significant piece of functionality.